everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the latest version of Ubuntu Mate. Now, Ubuntu Mate is just one of the many flavors of Ubuntu. This one obviously uses the Mate desktop. If you're not familiar with Mate, basically the project is a continuation of GNOME 2. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean Mate is old and out of date. It's made quite a bit of progress over the last decade or so since they went ahead and split and continued the kind of look and feel of GNOME 2. Uh, there's tons of different customization settings, layouts, uh, appearance settings, a bunch of different things that we are going to be checking out right now in this video. But first, I'm going to quickly highlight some of the Ubuntu specific things, and we're going to start with the installation process. This is Ubuntu, so it's going to install like any other Ubuntu system. It's going to be pretty easy, very straightforward. You just go through, you select your keyboard, your language, your time zone, the disk that you would like to install the Linux distribution on, uh, put in all your user data that you want to use to log into your system, install, and then you are essentially good to go. But when you go ahead and boot onto your system for the first time, you are greeted with a wonderful welcome dialog. If you look in the top left, you have a couple different buttons to get some information on your system, which is really nice if you're brand new. It goes all the way in depth explaining what Linux is, what GNU slash Linux is, what Ubuntu is, what the Mate desktop is, and just a brief overview of free and open source software altogether. Now below that you have features and that's just some specific things that are within this distribution that you're want, gonna wanna keep an eye out for. But my favorite thing is the color selection tool. Down in the bottom right you have that tool so you could go ahead and pick the general theming and color of your system right out of the gate. There's a ton of different colors. There's blue, green, pink, brown, orange, really whatever you want. And another thing is above that you have your browser selection tool. And this will give you a list of all of the popular browsers from like Brave, Chrome, Firefox, really whatever you want. You just go ahead and use that tool, select the browser of your preference, and you're good to go. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump onto our system so we could get a full look at the applications, theming, customization, and everything you're going to want to know when it comes to Ubuntu Mate. All right, so we went ahead and booted up to our fresh installation of Ubuntu Mate. And here's that little welcome thing that we were just talking about, but for now we're gonna go ahead and close that out and check out some of the applications that comes with our system. So if you go up here under menu, we have this really simple clean menu with all of our different categories here. And I will note that what you're seeing here is the default look of Mate, but it's very configurable and we will be getting into that after we check out these applications. So first under accessory, we have quite a few things. We have a built-in backup utility and that's really cool. A lot of distributions come with time shift, but they have their own little thing going on here. Uh, if I go back under accessories, we have a firmware application, and this is where you could go ahead and get specific device drivers, things like that. Additionally, we have a Mate calculator, font viewer, a search tool, and this search tool is pretty cool. What this will allow you to do is do a very advanced search throughout your system for uh, specific files, folders, things like that. And then they have a password tool, Plank is installed, and we'll be getting into that in just a sec. Uh, we have a text editor, we have the screenshot utility, which is the standard utility in most Ubuntu distributions. Go back over to accessories, we have the Ubuntu Mate guide, and this is really nice and helpful, especially if you're new, you could go ahead and check out all these different subcategories of everything to go ahead and change your settings around, play games. So for example, if I go over to games, it talks about Steam, Valve, and how to go ahead and get this up and running. So now if we go over to administration, this is where we're gonna get some of our printers, uh, software updates, a software boutique. So if I go ahead and open this up, this is actually a pretty nice little software center uh, they have for us here. So up here we have our various different applications or uh, categories. Right here is a little quick description of what it is that you're looking at. Now, for example, if I'm to click on this internet category, it's gonna give me some options such as Brave, a Dropbox client, Chromium, FileZilla, Firefox, and a bunch of other tools that you might be interested in going ahead and installing on your system. Another thing that's pretty cool right here is you can hide non-free and open source software. Just give this a little check and you can see it just got rid of some of that Google stuff and the, uh, the Dropbox thing. 
So you could just click a little check and have only free and open source software so show up. So that is very handy if you're into that. So let's go ahead and close this out and back under administrative, we also have our user and groups and we can reopen that welcome dialog if you would like to. And now just quickly overviewing under graphics, we have a Mate color selector. Uh, we have the iMate image viewer, document scanner, shot well. Under internet, it does come with Firefox as the default web browser as well as transmission BitTorrent client. Under office, it does ship with all the LibreOffice applications as well as evolution for your email client. And I will note all these applications, you can obviously uninstall them, change them, switch them out, really do whatever you want with them. Uh, under preferences, here are quick links to all your different settings and configuration options that you could change. For now, we're gonna go ahead and skip to sound and video. We have Celloid, Rhythmbox, and Webcamoid for your, uh, they replaced Cheese with this, that's their own little webcam utility. Uh, system tools. Here's a lot of really helpful things such as the uh, disk mounter, the Mate Disk Utility Analyzer is a really useful utility that allows you to see your disk usage. And of course, if we go under system tools, they have the Mate Terminal. Now one thing that they've recently added is a couple different applications installed out of the gate. One of those is HTOP. So you have the terminal based system monitor right here. If I go ahead and F10, I can close that out. They also have NeoFetch installed. You can see that it brings up the Ubuntu Mate logo as well as all the information that you're gonna need, including what your current shell is, which the default shell is gonna be Bash, running the Marco window manager. So we can go ahead and close that out now. And in addition to HTOP, they also have a, a GUI system monitor. So if I hit Mate system monitor here, you can see how our computer is performing. The default RAM usage out of the gate is about 800 megabytes, which really isn't too bad. It could be a little bit better for something like this, but there are a lot of different configurations and things going on in the background, so it does kind of make sense. Go ahead and close that out. And if I go back to the menu and under universal access, this is something that's new. This is Magnus. Uh, this is just a little zoom utility, so I could go ahead and pop this wherever I want and then open up our file explorer. And then you can see down here, wherever I hover my mouse, it kind of zooms into specific things. If I wanted, or if I had issues seeing them, I could go ahead and just open that little utility. And life is good. We also can five exit if we want to, so you can really zoom in and see what's going on. But let's close that out for now. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and talk about some of the uh, configuration things that we could do. And the first thing I'm gonna get into is this Mate Tweak tool. Obviously we have other things such as pop-up notifications, plank preferences, screensaver displays, disks, all that stuff you'd expect. But the uh, Mate Tweak tool is absolutely wonderful, especially over here under panel. But first you go ahead and add various icons to your desktop so you can see I have Brandon's home right there. I can add a trash bin, computer, typical options you'd expect. But panel, this is where we can have some fun. Uh, this is how you change the overall look and layout of your system. So earlier in the video, I talked about the old school look with the, um, the applications, places, and system. If you want that, you just go down to traditional, hit OK. And then you can see it changes it to the old traditional GNOME 2 layout with all of our applications here. We have places, system, and it has that old school kind of menu flow that we could go ahead and go with. Another one that they uh, recently added is the uh, Munity, which is based or uh, mimics the look of the Unity desktop environment. So if we select that, hit OK, we can see we have this nice little sidebar here, just like it would be in Unity. I could go ahead, hit menu, and these are all my favorite applications, and then I could go to them based on the category. So that's really cool if you like Unity Desktop, you could just install Mate and use that layout and you're good to go. And do not worry, they have a lot more. So they have Netbook, which makes it more optimized for smaller displays. They have Pantheon here and Pantheon is the uh, elementary OS desktop environment. You can see it gets rid of some of the stuff up here. We have a bottom dock, just like you would in Pantheon. This is just the uh, plank dock and you could obviously go ahead and configure that as you see fit. But for the rest of this video, I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that traditional Mate desktop look. I really do enjoy this. Uh, additionally, we have some panel menu features. You can uh, like disable the system one, for example, 
and then you have some other panel features. So no matter what you're running, you could do things like enable the dock. And then you have that plank dock there on the bottom that then you could go ahead and configure as you see fit. Now under Windows, we have some options so you can enable or disable animations. Uh, the animations in Mate aren't that good. So like if I were to minimize this, you kind of saw it was that square thing. But I could just go ahead and uncheck that and then it just completely gets rid of those kind of not that good animations. So now it just makes the system much more snappier and responsive in my opinion. Also you have things like uh, enable or disable window snapping. You have your window control placement so you could put that wherever you're used to having it. Uh, fonts, you could change your window manager here. And that's really about it for this uh, tweak tool. Lots of cool things you could do in there. But now what we're gonna go ahead and focus on is appearance. So if I go under preferences, look and feel, we have appearance. Uh, while I change this around, I'm going to open up a little file explorer so you can kind of see what's going on here. One of the really nice themes with this is down here at the bottom, it's the Euro Mate Dark. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you can see now we have a really nice looking dark theme throughout the system with those really nice greens. And obviously you could use any of the other ones. You can customize specific ones or install new ones. And there's a little link if you could want to, you could go ahead and get more themes online. Here's where you can also change the background. It comes with a lot of really nice backgrounds. I'm not gonna flip through all of them. Additionally, we have your fonts and your general interface settings. Now, one thing you could do, and this is actually a recent update as of this version that I'm running, is really go in and configure your indicators. So to get there, just like before, you go over to preferences, look and feel, and obviously I'm using that traditional layout. If you're using something else, the way to get, you just search for things. But we're gonna go right here to indicators. And with this, you could go ahead and really kind of configure your top panel here. So some simple things like show a full username right here. I could go ahead and check that. Now you can see Brandon is displayed there. You can remove logout from menu, remove the restart button from the menu. You, you could change a lot of little things within this menu right here. Under the time and date, you could edit things such as showing the year, uh, show the month and date, so you could really show a lot of information within the panel. Under sound, we have allow setting above 100, so you could set that if you'd like to. Some power stuff, so if you're running on battery power, you have the percentages there. Uh, we have messages and Bluetooth, but both of those are grayed out. Uh, we have notifications here, so if you're running an application that you're getting a lot of different notifications for and you don't want that, you could go ahead and add that in here. So Spotify is one that's in there by default. One that I would probably want to add is like Discord. So now I wouldn't get any notifications from Discord. And then we have keyboard stuff and then you could enable that on login if you'd like to. So that's some of those base configuration options. Really, it is, it, there is a lot that you could do with the system. Uh, preferences under hardware, you have all the basic stuff there you'd expect your firewall, network proxies. You could change which applications show on the main menu here. Under plague preferences, we could go ahead and completely configure this. So appearance, we can change this to match theme that we're running. So we can switch that over to dark. You could change the positioning so I could flip this over to the right if I'd like to, or uh, the left, then it's over there. I'm gonna leave it on the bottom for now. And then you have general alignment. You can change the icon size so you can make these up substantially larger if you'd like to. Uh, general behavior settings, not gonna get into everything. And then you have docklets. So you could add desktop, clippy, CPU monitor, things like that. Just overall some really cool tools and stuff that you could go ahead and play with. So that's really about it as far as Ubuntu Mate. Uh, anything I mentioned in this video is going to be linked down below. So I do recommend you go ahead and check out those links. Uh, if you don't want to use Ubuntu necessarily, but you want to use this, uh, Manjaro and I believe Solus both have really good versions of Mate that you could go ahead and check out. All of that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe down below and ring that bell so you do not miss any future content. With all that said, I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.